Hello and welcome to Join Young Photography. Um, today I just wanted to give you a couple of tips on what I use during my doing my photography. Now, a lot of people, obviously, and me included, when you're doing uh, a wedding, is to nice to it's nice to record photographs of the rings. You know, the rings are something that they're a couple of chores and they've took time to choose which rings they want. They spent a lot of money on the rings, so you know it's very important for them to have a record and it makes a nice photograph um, to have a record of, of, of a photograph, a nice close-up photograph, a macro photograph if you like uh, of of the rings and we tend to do that just before the ceremony so once the ceremony is over and once the rings have been put on the fingers during the service, during the ceremony, during the wedding ceremony then we don't take them back off again. We might take photographs of them on the fingers of the couple you know, hands over each other, that kind of thing, which is which is quite a nice shot as well. Um, but beforehand, before the summer, we always like to get a nice close-up photograph of the rings. You know, the details on the rings, the diamonds, the engravings, anything like that. Um, and see, it's it's important and it makes a nice photograph. The, the, they don't have to be huge photographs. You know, quite often we we tend to put them sometimes maybe on the back of the photo, the way album of the photo book. You know. Um, so you know you don't need a huge, massive quality photograph, but just makes a nice addition to the to the to the album, to the couple's um, photographs at the end of the day. Now, what you can obviously use is you can buy macro lenses. You can pay for five hundred pounds easily for a, for a, for a macro lens, a good macro lens. Um, maybe it's even more depends on on what lens you get. So what I did is I thought. Rather than buying really expensive lens like that to do what is essentially just a, a couple of photographs, yeah, I want nice photographs, but it's not it's not huge hugely important for the rest of the day if you like. So what I did is I got myself well, I actually already had um, my little Fuji S8000 FD. That's it there. It's a little compact little camera. It's got a little lens that. I can't show it with this one because unfortunately this one's broken now. Um, so I can't show you how it works. Um, but the beauty of this lens camera is it's got a super macro mode on it. Um, so basically, you know, you could use this camera. I bought this quite cheap when I when I got it. I got a brand new and I can't much up here for it. Um, but it wasn't a fortune when I bought it. 120 pounds or something like that when I bought it. Um, but you can buy them now for um, say nothing. I've seen one on eBay today for like £35. Um, obviously second hand on eBay for £35. And um, so in that respect, you know, you you you're gonna get some nice close-up shots. I'll show you some shots I've taken with this lens as well. Um with this lens, sorry, with, with this camera, I'll show you some shots I've taken with it. And as you'll see, perfectly good photographs, really, really good quality and sharp um good 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 exposure. Very close, get extremely close with with this with this lens, which is which is amazing, really. Um, and even if it, even if you buy one of these and use it for nothing else than just doing your your ring photographs for your weddings, you you'll be laughing and you'll save yourself a boatload of money. Um, and and nobody none the wiser, the couple will be none the wiser when you show them the photographs. You'll you'll be very happy with the results. They'll be happy with the results. So you'll save yourself a load of money. Fair enough if you're going to use a macro lens for other things, you know, if you're going to buy a macro lens to, to, to do pictures of bugs and insects and things like that, but if, you, if you're going out to buy a macro lens just to do some ring shots for your weddings, I would say don't bother, you know, I would say get yourself either a little camera like this, uh, one, or one of the other foods you want, there's other foods you want, you can actually use the X30, which is what I'm filming with at the moment, the Fuji X30, that's got a super macro mode on as well, and that works really well, and I do use that at the moment as well for, for my ring photographs. Um, and that works really well as well. And that gets really again. I'll put some few more photographs on that as well because I've used that recently, uh, and that does that works really well. Uh, but that's a little bit more expensive to buy the Fuji X30. But but of course, if you buy the Fuji X30, then you can use it obviously as a family camera. You can take it out and use it for, you know, for your for your day sort of shots of your family days out, which is what I use mine for. Um, and I use it with weddings as well. You know, my wife uses it in the background. Uh, with me, you'll see me the review I put on about it, um, about the X30. Uh, I'll put a link to that in the in the description. But my wife uses it uh, to take take some detailed shots and after the, um, in the room, you know, where obviously they're having the meal and stuff like table decorations and things like that. And uh, my wife gets a few nice shots with the Fuji X30, and she also uses it. 
to do the, the ring photographs as well. Uh, but in the past I have used this uh, and like I say 30 35 pounds off eBay you're not going to go wrong and it's, again you could use this as a family little f uh, f um, camera as well obviously to take out for the deer and take shots as well it's a good capable camera in its own right you know there's, there's nothing wrong with it actually I'll I'll show you a photograph I took with this as well um, of a frog I took a picture of a frog and it's, it turned out really nice and obviously not do weddings but you know it's the photography and it turned out really really nice I'll show you the picture of that as well um, my next little tip I want to give you is memory cards. Now, with you know professional cameras like um, the Nikon D750 and such like, um, you want a card, a memory card. Obviously, it's reliable. Um, you, you don't want a card sort of any problems with it during your during your uh, your wedding photography, during the service, during the ceremony. You, you certainly don't want cards to fail. Now I use a SanDisk card. I find them extremely good. Uh, I use two at a time because uh, my camera has two slots in it. So I use one as my primary one, and then the other one as a backup. So if one card fails, the other card hopefully will be okay. And if I had any problems, it's always worked okay like that. Uh, but one problem I did have when I first got me, especially when I first started using full frame cameras, uh, when I moved from like the D90 up to the D610 and the D750 was. Um, obviously the files are larger and it takes longer to store the files on the card and um, so I was finding like when the bride and groom were walking down the aisle towards us and I was taking shots one after another because another, obviously you know you, you have it on sort of um, multiple frames so it's just click 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 sometimes the, the, the camera would just hesitate for a second because it was writing the, the, the data, writing the photographs to the card now if the card is not fast enough, it was like say a 30 megabytes per second card or something, that could that could slow it down, it could hamper the camera because it cannot write to the card fast enough. They just kind of do it. And um, so uh, what I use is, I mean, this is an 80 megabytes per second card, um, SanDisk 80 megabytes per second card, but you also can get 90 as well. You can get a 91 now and maybe even faster. Um, but you're talking to have a look here. You're talking from my, which is where I got my my cards from. Um, you're talking the 11.99 for a 16 gig card and 90 megabytes per second from mymemory.com. Uh, I'll put a link in the description in that as well because I, I like my memory. They've always been good and they've always again. I've got no affiliation with my memory. Um, you know I don't get any favours from them. Just I'll just tell you the companies that I use which I find good. Just like the products and I, I don't. I'm no expert and it's just the stuff I use and I found through experience the stuff that works for me and the products that work for me. Also, obviously, other people, yourself, might have different ideas, different experience, and that's fair enough. But it's just giving you some ideas from 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 uh, obviously my years of doing web photography and other photography. Um, but for 11, 99, 16 gig, um, 90, 80, 80 or 90. This is 80. That one's 90 for 11, 99. You kind of go wrong for that. I mean, you, that's what you need really. If you, you'll you'll soon find if you use slower card, you'll soon find the difference. Um, you'll start seeing your Especially with like D seven fifties, D eight tens, things like that, you'll start seeing the the the, the cameras trying to you know write to the card and just kind of do it fast enough. Um, I use sixteen gig. I know you can get bigger cards. You can get thirty twos and sixty fours, but I use sixteen gig because I don't want too too much information on each card. You know, I don't want to have a a thirty two gig card or sixty two gig sixty four gig card with you know hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of photographs on there, and then it fails, and they've all gone. So. The idea of using 16 gig, yeah, I've got to change it a little bit more often, but I've spread them out. You know, I've spread out the possibility of things going wrong. You know, this so if one feels I'm not losing hundreds and hundreds of photographs. You know, I will lose obviously a fair few, but I won't lose as many as I would if it was like a 64 gig card or a 32 gig card. It just gives that little bit of a safety net, and um, you haven't lost so much photographs. Um, but yeah, there's just a few little tips for you there. Um, Hopefully it'll be some use to you. Um, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll upload some more photo. Uh, no, no photographs. I'll upload some more videos. Um, maybe some photographs as well in there as well, of course. Yeah, thank you for watching. This is Johnny Photography. Thank you. Bye bye.